What up, guys? Sorry for the late best list for season eight. I've been super busy lately, but this is going to be a really quick video just to give you some ideas. There are a few different options and things that you can switch around. It does really depend on which items that you find. So I'm going to really quickly go over that. This is something that I've quickly knocked up for human, however, and it's going to be mostly PvP gear. And even within the PvP gear, there are things like the regen braces, belt and boots. Uh, or even like the regen main hand, off hand and wand. You can switch these around for haste pieces. It really depends on what matchup you're playing, what comps you're playing. If you're playing something like Priest Mage, uh, maybe in threes you're playing something a little bit more fast paced, PHDK, even RMP. You're going to be wanting a little bit more haste, so you're going to toggle a bit more haste gear on. It's not a static thing that's like one size fits all. So it is worth trying to pick up, you know, the, the regen and the haste parts where you can. Obviously, the off parts, you will also be picking up the pen, off hand and one. There was a little bit of confusion last season. You basically will have three off hands and three ones that you can switch at will. As for the PvE gear, the main piece that you want to pick up is going to be the bauble. And if you're human, I think you have the option of going meteorite if you want a little bit more mana or solace heroic if you want a little bit more throughput. So it really, really comes down to choice in that regard. If you're playing undead, dwarf, night elf or anything else, then I suggest you probably just go with the bauble for most comps. If you find that you don't need it, you can obviously run Meteorite if you want, want more mana, or again, Solace if you want more throughput. That's kind of the three categories for those three trinkets, but they're the top dogs in each category, I would say. Other PvE gear is going to be the Rep Ring, which is uh, easy enough to rep grind in ITC. Not too bad to get this one. And it's got a nice eye level, really nice stats. So this is worth worth taking the time to, to get. Uh, and then for hit, which is where we're going to get the the most value out of our PvE gear, it's going to be the Valinars of a Signet Ring and Amulet of Silent Eulogy. And I've got actually an extra gem. This brings you to 3.96, but I've taken an extra gem and to, to take me over the 4% just in case. If you don't have these, obviously, you can take a hit, uh, hit cloak or neck or whatever, depending on... Uh, what pve drops you get if you get the shoulders there are a pair of shoulders that are pretty good as well shoulders of mercy killing so you can you can mess about with those uh essentially what you want to do is you want to get yourself to four percent hit any way that you can and you want to get yourself to one four one four resilience any way that you can as long as you've got those two things it's uh it really is at the mercy of the drops but i think this is pretty uh, a pretty solid build to be getting on with and, and to be aiming for if you're on a class that isn't human you're going to have more resilience due to the new trinket this season it's going to be a 153 resilience trinket this season right so you're going to have a lot of resilience so what you can do if you get that you can uh you can actually add in some more pve gear so you can potentially use the maragar ring instead of the valinar ring and then you can get the hit elsewhere potentially off the shoulders um you know, you can mix in some more PvE gear. The best places to do that are obviously the the belt, boots, and braces. But there's not many haste MP5 items in the game. That's why the ring from Maragar is so good and really easy to obtain as well. This one, I'll show you. Uh, this. So this is definitely worth grabbing if you get the opportunity to mix and match, uh, especially on non-humans. If you still need to drop more resilience, you can either drop using gems and put more haste in, or... If you get a good PvE piece that's 277 with Haste Spirit, then you can chuck that on instead. Uh, again, trying to maintain that 1414 resilience. That's uh, that's it for the season. Sorry, it's not a little bit more, more meticulous. I will be updating it slightly more in the Discord, in the sub channel. So if you are interested in any sort of updates, that will be coming out in a couple of weeks when I have a little bit more time. But yeah, for now, that's something to be getting on with and for, for you guys to aim for. Thanks for watching. Have a good time.